Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, Jorge. Good evening. Good evening I teacher. am fine. Thank you. Hello, Ismael. I am fine. Thank you for asking. Andy, Denise, Carlos, Veronica, Raquel, and Jancy. Guys, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? How do you feel? Tell me, how is everything going? Paola is just joining, okay. I am um, feel down. Why? Because... What's going on? <laughs> because my partner is working uh, last day. Your partner? Uh, yeah, the the workplace. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, renunció, fire, no, no, verdad. Ese despido, no, he renunció. In quick. In quick. Ah, yes. Go to the chat. You're going to see the information in the chat. Quick. Quick, exactly. Quick. Okay. Quick means abandon. Abandon a place, abandon something, or leave, or stop to do something. Stop doing something. Sorry. All right. I got your message. Thank you for letting me know that you're going to be as a listener. Hello, Christian, Edwin, and Paola. Thank you guys for joining. Hello, yeah. teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. I did not see you yesterday, people. What happened? Uh, in my case, I'm I'm bad for salud. <laughs> I'm sorry. Poco, uh, tengo un poco. Estoy un poco mal de salud. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. You are kind of under the weather. Okay, I understand. I understand. It's okay. Well, you are here. That's good. That's good. It's good to have you back. What about you, Paula? What happened yesterday? I sent you a message uh, through the group, the WhatsApp group. I just but, remember. I just remember. Uh, yes. All right. And, and I connected like eight thirty. Yes. Yes. All right. But the good news yeah. is that you are here again. Yes able to participate. People, let me tell you that it is raining over here, so I can barely hear you. I'm going to get my earphones right now. Let me go get them. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, I couldn't find them. Let me connect them to the computer. Let me just check. Uh, hi, are you able to hear me? Yes. Yeah. Sí, pero a veces se lo oye. Uh, I think it's because I have bad connection to the rain. I was telling you that it is raining over here and uh, the rain is kind of hard. So maybe that is a uh, affect. 
If I lose connection badly, I'll be back right away. Be patient, okay? Thank you. And welcome everyone. Thank you, uh, Marvin, with you again. Anna, hello. It's good to have you guys back hello. again. Yes. All right. We are ready. Sorry. Yes. All right. Let me take attendance real quick and uh, we will be ready to start. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present. Thank you. Brian David Ramirez. Oh, okay. Carlos Alberto Orrego is present. Carlos Elias Dimas. Okay. Oh. Okay. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Sí, Elisa Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Thank you, Denise. Uh, Diana Yamilet Maravilla. No? Okay. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present. Thank you, Edwin. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin Josué Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Oh, okay. Paola Geraldine Santa Maria. I'm here. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Raquel Sandra Ivette Mendoza. I'm present, teacher. Yes. Uh, let's see. Thank you, thank you. Sara Rachel Salazar. Oh. Uh, Veronica Lisa Portillo. I'm present. Thank you, thank you very much. And Nancy Andrea so Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Hi, people, thank you for joining again. Let me tell you that tomorrow will be our last day, as you already know. We always do a survey at the end of, at the end of every month. So tomorrow we're going to be doing a survey. And uh, we maybe, I'm not really sure about the time, we might start doing the survey at 8.20 or maybe at 8.30. They are going to let me know. But uh, I want to tell you this. Uh, I need you guys to be on time tomorrow and try to be, try not to be as a, right? Tomorrow, the listeners will, won't be allowed because we have to serve it and everyone has to. Uh, I'm guessing you already received the, 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 the link, the survey through WhatsApp or through email. If you haven't uh, gotten the email or the WhatsApp uh, message, let me know. I think you guys got it already. All right. So that's about it. Uh, tomorrow we have the survey. Tomorrow is the last day. Uh, well, that's what's going to happen. Let's begin with this. Today is class number 19, as you know, Tuesday, September 5th. And uh, well, today we're going to have some vocabulary practice. We're going to be talking about one topic later on. But before we, we do that, let's uh, let's review. Do you remember anything about when or if clauses? People? 
Do you remember anything about when or if losses? What do you remember? Tell me, tell me, hello. Uh, we use when and if to connect to clauses. Okay, we use when or if to connect sentences, okay, or clauses. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Nothing else? Hello. Hello, good evening. Uh, for tell about real thing. I'm sorry? Um, for tell about real thing, things. Okay, to talk about real things. Yes, to talk about real things or daily things or daily uh, yeah daily things uh daily activities things that we do every day activities that we do every day all right uh and this is the example that i showed you yesterday oh no no i want but look at what it says we use if and then and what classes to talk about real things that happen in daily situations we are talking about simple present of we're not talking about the past, we're not talking about present progressive, we're not talking about future. We are talking about simple past. I mean uh, simple present. Using um. if and when clause. Only with the simple present. We can use this with different with different clauses, yes. We can use it with different clauses but or with different uh structure. But right now we're concentrating on simple present. Look at the example. I ask for help. I ask for help when I have questions. I ask for help when I have questions. Structure. Subject, I. Verb, ask. Compliment, for help. If or when. Another subject, uh, this is the sent this is the if sentence or the when sentence or the when clause, if clause, subject, verb, complement. Okay. It's basically the same, we just next sentence. We can or we could eliminate the first uh oh, but I ask for help. I have questions. Both sentences are correct. But if I include this, still, they are correct, but one sentence depends on the other sentence. Over here, the, the independent, the independent sentence is I ask for help. If or when I have questions is the dependent sentence. I mean, if I eliminate this, if I have questions, what? I need more information. If I have questions, that is not complete. Or when I have questions, that is not complete. Okay, that's not complete. I need more information. That's why the if clause and the when clause are in, are dependent. Dependent de la otra. Y por eso se llaman cláusula. Cláusula porque depende de la, de la oración. Esta que está acá es la oración. I ask for help. Es una oración independiente eh, que tiene su significado completo. Y la otra no. Esta no. Let me show you some examples. When the family gets together. Cuando la familia se junta. When the family gets together, my mother is happy. When the family gets together, my mother is happy. Oh, no, me Uh, acá también, over here, you can, you can uh, invert. You can invert the sentences and you can say if or when I have questions, I ask for help. 
That is also correct. You have no problem. You can use both. You can use both. When I have questions, I ask for help. What is the difference? What is the difference here? The difference is the punctuation. There is a punctuation difference. The difference goes right here. When I have questions, comma, I ask for help. Yes. So we have, we have, we can uh, write down or we can use clauses, if clauses and when clauses in two different ways. You can use them in the middle of the sentence or you can use them at the beginning of the sentence. And there is no difference in meaning. All right. It's the same thing. Look, uh, if you catch a cold, if you catch a cold, you can re uh, request a day off. If you catch a cold, you can request a day off. Si te da un resfriado, puedes solicitar un día libre o el día libre. If she needs the envelope, she should come to the office. Si ella requiere el sobre, debería venir a la oficina. If she, uh, if she needs the envelope, she should come to the office. I buy a smoothie, a smoothie when I'm not hungry. I buy a smoothie when I am not hungry. Compro un licuado o un batido cuando no tengo hambre. Now, do you have any question? Una pregunta duda. It's time to ask. No? No teacher. Got it. Okay. Gonna get out of here. Vamos a practicar ese when con el if. Con ejemplos así al azar. Brand, random examples. I need you guys to give me whatever example you want about whatever situation you want. So please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Start. When when I am sick, I go to the doctor. When I am sick, I go to the doctor. Perfect example. Fantastic. Yes, thank you. More examples. Hello. Hello. When I have um allergy. I take a pill. Okay, when I have allergies, I can. I can take. I take a pill. Okay. okay. If I am sleepy, I go to the to my bed. Okay. If I am sleepy, I go to my bed. All right. It's okay. It's okay. When I am sleepy, I go to bed. Yes. All right. People, more examples. Um, when I am in class, I pay attention. Okay, when I am in class, I pay attention. <laughs> Excellent. Congratulations. Mayra is not false. Mayra, repeat it. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> congratulations. She's con <laughs> she's giving me congratulations. <laughs> all right, all right. Guys, when go, ahead, I, go ahead. When I don't when I don't have money, I cry. <laughs> when I don't have money, I cry. <laughs> yes. When I return uh my house, when I, I return my house, I bore it. Okay, when I return my house, I am bored. Okay, good example. Let's continue. Hello, people. When I am hungry, mm -hmm. I eat a sneaker. 
Okay, when I am hungry, I eat the sneaker. Well, that's not food. I know. <laughs> that is not food. Actually, I ate the sneaker yesterday. <laughs> yes. All right. Hello, people. More examples. Anna, Sandra, Andy, Jorge. Hello. Edwin. Uh, if you lose the keys, do you lose the, the alarm to find them? Can you please repeat it? If you lose the keys, you use the alarm to find it. Okay. All right. All right. When it's I, okay. When I, when I go to work, there is a lot of traffic. Okay. When I go to work, there is a lot of traffic. You have to go early. Temprano va eso. <laughs> you have to when go early. Hungry, I go <laughs> hungry, teacher. Repeat it, please. Uh, when I am hungry, uh -huh. I am angry. <laughs> wow, wow. When I am hungry, I am angry. What? <laughs> okay, okay, good example. Let's continue, when guys. I write, when I write day, Friday, I'm happy. Okay, when I arrive home on Friday, I am happy. Así sería mejor. When I arrive, when I arrive home on Friday, I am happy. Yes. Okay. Okay, what else? When I have free time, I watch movies. When I have when I have free time, I watch movies, right? Okay, guys, let's continue. Seguimos, seguimos. Me escuchan, me escuchan? Yes, teacher. I yes, can teacher. Hear. Yes. I'm asking because I disconnected the, the earphones. The rain has stopped, so yes. Okay. I, I need more examples, guys. There are some people missing right now. When I have free time, I like to go to the to go to to go to the beach. Okay. When I have free time, I like to go to the beach. All right. We got it. Thank you for uh your example. What else? What else? When I go to the beach, uh -huh. I am really happy. Okay, when I go to the beach, I am really happy. Thank you for your example, Jorge. Do you have more examples, people? When I watch movies, I like to eat popcorn. Okay, when I watch movies, I like to eat popcorn. Excuse me. Casi no he escuchado con el if. ¿Qué pasó con el if? What happened to if? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> if, if you drunk, don't drive. Okay, if you drink. Oh, wait, wait. Repeat it. If you drunk, don't drive. Si tú bebiste, no conduzca. Okay, if you are, so yeah, yeah, in present, si bebes, because it is present. If you drink, don't drive. Or, or you can say if you're, as como lo dijo usted, pero, if you're drunk, don't drive. Si está borracho, no maneja. Si bebe, no maneja. Si está borracho, no maneja. Yes. If you are in the office, don't smoke. Okay, if you are in the office, don't smoke. If you are in class, participate. Yes. If there are drinks on fall, your pies. If you what, sorry? If, if there 
are twins on Sal George Vice. No, no I capto. I, I don't get it. If there are drinks on sale eh, in the super selecto, la despensa de Don Juan, George buys. If there are drinks. On sale. Si hay bebidas en promociones, teacher. Ah. George, George compra. Okay, okay. We're, we're missing uh, some people right now. Paola, what about you? I cannot speak English, but, but if you want, I can try. If, if you want, I can try. Okay. What else? What else? No more? Okay, no more then. Vamos a comenzar. Bueno, seguir. We're going to continue with the, the same practice. This time, I need you guys to look at something. Observen lo que está acá. Lo puede ver? Let me know. Yes, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver. Ahí está. Give me a second. Okay, I have something here that we are going to read. This paragraph or this information is related to when and if clauses and also policies. Because yesterday we were talking about policies and we were talking or we were joining sentences using if and when. I need a participant right now to read. Me okay, too, sure. Okay, I don't. What? There are two participants that want to read. Sandra, Sandra and... wants to read. Sandra and Anna. Prepare, Sandra. One, two, three. From. Okay. Get, get ready. We are the chiefs, a factory, and we have a lot of police. For example, if I get employed, delay the delivery. He gets a warning because we can afford to lose consumers. 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 Okay, esa lista ahora. Are you ready, Sandra? Sandra, hello. Yes, yes. Okay. Entonces, iniciamos. Dele. De principio, de principio. Uh, teacher. Right. Vamos, lea. I work at a cheese factory and we have a lot of police. For example, if I employ delay the deliveries, he gets a warning because we can afford to lose consumers. When we lose a consumer, we must visit them right away or at least call them if they don't want to continue having business with us. We offer them a better deal. If they don't accept the deal, we need to have another backup plan. This policy is hard to meet and other policies among us. Sure, we have to strain to the boss office to justify our delay. We are discounting if we can prove our delay when we have proof of what we are saying. We just get a warning for next time. Another policy is that we must be very mid in one office. If we can work, we can let any or of our customer exit because of our negligence. We are forced to visit the doctor and get sick. Leave if one of us can't be checking anymore. <laughs> we want it. We can't work it. It will jeopardize. 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 Yes. Jeopardize or hell and or customer. When this happens, it's better and recommendable to go to the specialty and get days get days off. And about our cell phone, we can use them all at. We are only allowed to use them when we are finished. 
or yeah. when there are very yeah. little work to do, there are more bodies. So if over here, but those are the only one I can share. There you go. <laughs> Easy, right? Wow. <laughs> How do you, you have to read it was fast. A... Did you understand? Did you understand everything? So, so. So, so. So, so. Yes. Yo voy a leer lo más rápido que se pueda. Pensé que estaba más lento, pienso. Yo, yo lo vi lento. <laughs> no. Yes. When I, was, when I created the video, like, uh, uh, como, hace como dos horas lo hice, entonces pensé que era, era así, estaba bien lento. Y dije, It was a race. And I was like, wait, this is too slow. Está muy lento, dije yo. <laughs> All right. San, Sandra was running. She was running. She was running, right? All right. Don't worry. We're going to continue practicing and we're going to pro be providing comments on the ideas or on the policies that we have right here. Okay, you got to tell me the policies that we have right here by reading. This time it's Anna's turn because she raised her hand. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> No, why? Why not? No, it's okay. I I, I want to try learning. Le, le, read. You want to read? Aye, right, excellent. <laughs> who wants to try? Who wants to try next? Hello. I want, I want to try. try. You okay, can do it. Uh, we got Marvin. We got uh, uh and Ismael. Right now, okay. Let's see what Anna says. Anna, let me bring you back. I do need you para que sea junto. All right. I said, lo más despacio. I was. Comienzo ya o no? Yes. I work at cheese factory, and we have a lot of police. For example, if an employee delays the delivery. He gets a warning because we can afford to lose consumers. When we lose a customer, we must visit them right away or at least can call them. If they don't want to continue having business with us, we offer them better either. If they don't accept, we need to have this police at our need. Uy, ya me quedé. <laughs> Another police is, uy, teacher, lo movió. <laughs> if they don't accept the deal, we need to have another. This police is hard to meet. Another police is, is when one, was, one of us shows up late, we have to go straight to the boss office to just justify or delay. We are discount if we can prevent or delay when we have proof of what we are saying we just get a warning for next time another policy is that we must be very neat if one of us is sick we can work we can let any of our customer get sick because of our negligence we are forced to visit negligence. we are forced to visit the doctor and get sick leave if one of us, us is wounded, we can work a one. We can we can work a it. It will je jeopardize je jeopardize jeopardize our health and our customers. When this happens, it's better and recommendable to go to the specialist and get days off. And about our cell phones, we can use them all at. We are only allowed to use them when we are finished or when there are very little work to do. There are more police over here. All those are the only ones I can share. Excellent. It's okay. No me di cuenta que lo puse al revés. At all. Uh, 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 apostrofe. Y aquí es, aquí es at all, al revés. It's, it's uh, the other way around. 
guess. I don't know why. I don't know why I got confused. I think it was because I was writing very fast. That's why I couldn't see what was right. I didn't even check later on. All right. Thank you, Anna, for trying. You did it very well. You did it very good. All right. You have to be very fast, people. Honestly, I have not tried. You know, intent out. You intent to read, but when I read, I didn't read. Let's see. Ismael, are you ready? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> All right, let's here we go. I work at the cheese factory and we have a lot of policies. For example, if an employee delays to the to deliveries, he gets a warning because we can afford to lose consumers. When we lose a consumer, we must visit them right away or at least call them. If they don't want to continue having a business with us, we offer them a better deal. If they don't accept the deal, we need to have ah, okay, teacher. When one of us shows up, uh, when one of us shows up late, we have to go straight to the boss office to justify or delay. We are discounted if we can prove or delay. When we have a proof or of what we are saying, we just get a warning for next time. Another policy is that we must be very neat. If one of us is sick, we can work. We can't let any of our customers get sick because of our negligence. We are forced to visit the doctor and get sick leave. If one of us is wounded, we can't work. We can work either. Either. It will jeopardize either. It will jeopardize our health. Or health. Um, and our custom, customers. And our customers. When this happens, it's better and recommend recommendable to. Recommendable. Recommendable to go to the specialist and get days off. And about our cell phones, we can use them at all. We are only allowed to use them when we are finished or when there are very little work to do. There are more, there are more policies over here, but those are the only ones I can share. Uh, yes, <clears throat> another mistake right here. Uh, or when there is very little work to do, when there is theirs, or, or there when, is. when there when there is or when there's. Ahí la no no puse el is. All right, excellent. Thank you for trying. You did it very well. You did it very good. Marvin, are you ready? Uh, yes, teacher. All right. Yes, let's go. I work at Cheese Factory and we have a lot of policies. For example, if an employee delays the deliveries, he gets a warning because we can afford to lose con consumers. When we lose a customer, we must visit them right away at the last call them. If they don't want to continue having business with us, we offer them a better deal. If they don't accept the deal, we need to have another backup plan. This policy is hard to meet another policy is when one of us show up late, we have to go straight with the bus office to justify or delay. We are discount. If we can prove or delay, we have a proof of what we, we are saying. We just get a warning for next time. Another policy is what we must be very neat. If one of us is sick, we can work. We can't let any of our customer get sick because our negligence. We are forced to visit the doctor and get sick leave. If one of us is one that can't work either, it will the parties or health in our customer when this happens is very in recommendable to go to the specialist and get days off in about our cell phone we can use them up we can use all of them we are only allowed to all. use with them when we are finished or when they're very little work to do there are more policies over here but these are only ones i can share okay very good very good Thank you for reading. Wow. Yes, you did it very good. You did it very well. Excellent people. Excellent. Excellent. You are very good readers. 
very good readers. Yes. In my case, I, I it's hard to read because I stutter a lot. I stutter in even in Spanish. Well, in Spanish, I stutter more. Saben qué es stutter? Creo que así escribe. Stutter. I don't know how to check. Stammer también creo que es. Más o dos. I don't really use these words. Stam I think the stammer stutter both. Es es tartamudear. Ambas se usan, creo. Stammer, stammer and stutter. No sé cuál de las dos es de arriba o de abajo, stutter. Can you look it up? ¿La pueden buscar? Yeah. No, let me do it. Stutter. And uh, there is a word that you might not know. La palabra jeopardize, ¿sabe qué significa? No, dije. Mira, no te puse ahí, no te puse. Ok, pongamos stutter. Así como una tesis, entonces, ahí está. Stutter, look. Stutter, that's the word, that's the word, that's what it is, look. That's Mauricio. Mauricio stutters a lot. Even in Spanish, I stutter a lot. It's it's a family, you know. My family is like that. Todos estamos catamudeamos en español. Familia así es, todos somos así. Stammer también. Sí. Stammer, yes. I also know. And jeopardize, jeopardize. There you go. Jeopardize is when you put your job or something in danger. Acá está. Risk. When you put something in danger, that's what jeopardize is. Jeopardize. Listen to it. Jeopardize. 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 All right. Yes. Let's go back here. Is there anyone else that would like to try to read it? Hey, teacher. Okay, Paola wants Me to try. Be before, okay, and Denise. Before we continue with Paola and Denise, do you remember any of the policies that, that are here? No. <laughs> no? Okay, I understand. You can do it. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. You know, I stole esa idea la robé de TikTok. Pero estaba en TikTok ese ese un video así como este pero de una de un vuelo. Down fly attendants. I, I think right, right, yes. It, it, so I got the idea from TikTok. I was like, wait, I can do this, but with the with 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 when and if plus so no problem. And I did it today earlier. Right, no problem. Okay, Paola, ready? Yes. Here we go. I work at Cheese Factory and we have a lot of policies. For example, if an employee delays the deliveries, he gets a warning because he can afford to lose consumers. When we lose a customer, we must visit them right away or at least call them. If, if they don't want to continue having business with us, we offer them a better deal. If they don't accept the deal, we need to have another backup plan. This policy has, is hard to meet. Another policy is when one of us show a blame we have to go straight to the boss office to justify our delay. We are discounted if we can prove our delay. When we have proof of, of what we are saying, we just warn it for next time. Another policy is that we must bear in it. If one of us sick, we can work. We can let any of our customer get sick because of our negligence. Uh, we are forced to visit the doctor and get sick leave. If one of us wanted, we can work either. It will jeopardize our health and our customers. When this happens, it's very unrecommendable to go to the specialist and get day off. And about of cell phone, we can use them at all. We are only allowed to use them when when we are finished or when we're when there very little work to do. There are more policies over here, but those are the only ones I can share. Wow, excellent. excellent. Sure, it's very fast. <laughs> yes, it is fast. It is fast. If you think it's a race. Fast. At the beginning, at the beginning, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it 30 seconds. I was like, 30, 30 seconds. And I was like, okay, 30 seconds, I can do it. Intenté leerlo con 30 segundos, pero no pude. 30 segundos, 
ese vacío de tío es rapidísimo, así como que eran uh, títulos con, con, por dos, ese WhatsApp, ese WhatsApp, ese audio de WhatsApp por dos, <ríe> súper yeah. rápido. That's right. Excellent, excellent, Paula. You did Not it I well. could read. For I can read, read teacher. Ex teacher, <laughs> it's a good exercise to practice. Yeah. She was, I think, I think Paola was rapping, you know. She was rapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Excellent, excellent people. Very good, very good. Okay. Denise, are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's not. Okay. I am really slow reading in Spanish. I'm going to be really slower. You can do it. You can yes, do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's okay. begin. I work, I work at a cheese factory, and we have a lot of policies. For example, if an employee delays the deliveries, we, he gets a warning because we can't afford to lose customers. When we lose a customer, we must visit them right away or at least call them. If they don't want to continue having business with us, we offer them a better deal. If they don't accept the deal, we need to another bank of plan. This policy is hard to meet another policy. <laughs> When one of us show up late, we had to go straight to the post office to justify our delay. We are discounted if we can prove or delay When we have proof of what we are saying, we just get a warning for next time. Another policy is that we must be very neat. In, if one of us is sick, we can work. We can let any of our customers get sick because of our negligence. We are forced to visit the doctor and get sick leave. If one of us is wounded, we can't work either. It will jeopardize our health and our customers. When this happens, it's better and recommendable to go to the specialist and get a cell. And about our cell phones, we can't use them at, at all. We are only allowed to use them when we are finished or when there's very little work to do. There are more policies over here, but those are the only ones I can share. <laughs> okay, there you go, there you go. Excellent, excellent. You did it very well, you did it very well. There you go, you see? <laughs> you can do it. Well, in my cases, I cannot do it, people. I stutter, I stutter and stammer a lot when I speak. And uh, yes, yes, I am very, very lousy at reading. You have no idea how bad I am at reading. This is the way I speak. And this is the way I read. I have to pause myself a lot of times to, to say something because, you know, that's the way I speak Spanish. Spanish, I speak very fast and... Uh, Uh, people don't really understand what I'm saying or in Spanish. <laughs> it's 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 just like that, you know. All right. <laughs> yes. And uh, yes, I can see that it is a little fast. I understand your 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 confusion and everything. It goes fast. Yes. And uh, let me show you the paragraph with the corrections because I I have to correct it. What is can I can I use it? Lower the Don't tell me I didn't say that. No, 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 You see the word wounded over there? You know what that means? No? You don't know? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Wounded is when you have when you have an open when you have an open cut. Open cut. Wounded. Let me show you. Wounded, wounded. The pronunciation is wounded. It can be, it can be a verb. Wound, wounded. Take a look. There you go. Yes, that's what it is. That's wounded. All right. Wounded. Wanna listen to this? Wounded. wounded. 
cool and good. All right. Well, uh, if we have some time later on, we can continue practicing the, this video or this activity. But we don't have enough time. So let's continue working on the book. And uh, we're going to work on page number 43. You guys open it. Go to page number 43. On page number 43, you're going to see this information. We continue talking about company procedures and policies. Yes. And uh, we have an, an uh, objective. I will be able to give and receive instructions on company procedures. I will be able to give and receive instructions on company procedures. I got two questions over here. Where do you usually request a permission form? Let me ask three people only. Let me see. Let me start with you, Marvin. When, just when, uh, well, just in case, just in case. When you request a permission form, where do you do it? Uh, in the case, when yes. I work with other customer, I send an email and I ask for authorization before I start some some process. And so, sometimes the customer or the client uh, call me and say, yes, you can do it, but I don't really do it if I don't have an email because sometimes I have a, some problem that because I'm say I don't alter use that that process but I say you, you call with me uh, some some minutes uh, before and now you're saying that not so for me I need I really need an email without email I don't do any any complicated process I understand I understand now excellent excellent wow very good Marvin Mar very good very good Jorge, what about you? Where do you usually request a permission form? Where do you usually request a permission form? Well, um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Um, maybe the last request um, was three months ago. Uh, usually I I don't I don't request permission forms. Okay. Where where do you do it? We're talking we're we're talking about the document, the form, Sarkas form, the form, a permission form. Where? Uh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. We we don't have the the formulario. We don't we don't have a request permission, a permission form. form. No, we, we don't have that. Uh, only an email to our boss, and that's all. Okay, okay. Well, in my case, people, in my case, I have a permission form. This per per permission form, I can request it after the day I miss. For example, if I don't go, if I don't go to work tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Wednesday. On a Thursday, I have to request the per permission form, fill it out, and give it to, to my boss. Yes. It's not it's not a day before, it's a day after. Yes. It can be with no with no doctor uh uh what's the word I'm looking for? They give you a piece of paper, a document. Yes, with a sick leave. It can be with the sick leave or without the sick leave, but either either way, you have to request the the per permission form a day after, uh, two days after, a week after, okay? Because sometimes you get a week, you get three days off, a week off, two weeks off. Yes, you can uh, just only one permission form. Let me hear one more person. Let's see, Andy, what about you? Where do you usually request permission form? I think Andy's not there. Andy, yes. 
I think you are having the same problem as yesterday, right? With the microphone. Let me know through the chat. Christian, what about you? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, yes, question. Okay. When I when I need to when I need a permission, I usually uh, send a, a email or message for WhatsApp for my boss because but I don't have a form. Okay, you do not have a, a permission form. form. Yes, uh -huh. only only send a message or email. Okay, okay, you have those two options. You send a message or you send an email to your boss. Okay, you do not have yes. a permission form. Fantastic, fantastic. The second question, people, who is the last person who signs them? Who is the last person who si signs them? You know what sign is? Sign? Firma. Yes, firmar. How do you say firma in English, people? Signal, no. Not sign? Signature. Signature. What is that? Signature. Oh. Signature. Sign is the action. Sign is the action. Signature is the noun. So tell me, who is the last person who signs them? Let me see. Sandra. Sandra is sleeping right now. Why, teacher? I desperté. Sorry, I desperté. <laughs> Who is the last person who, well, yes, who is the last person who signs the, the, the permission form? Me? Yes. I am the last person that okay. signed the permission. Really? Okay. Yes, <laughs> like, in the, yeah, she, she's right. She's right, okay. We, we need to sign the, the, the permission form. Well, my case is I don't do it. My boss does it. I don't do it. Yes. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you for your participation. Denise, what about you? Who is the last person that signs the permission form? Um, in my case, if it's a, it depends on of the kind of permission. For example, if uh, if it's a permission about vacations or you know, something like that, it's my boss who signs last and if it's another kind of request is it's like the the i don't know how to say uh, director the what sorry director well what do you mean director ejecutivo the exec uh the i don't know the ceo the chief uh, the chairman uh -huh, yes, that Yes, the CEO is the last person who signs any other request. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. I'm ah, okay. <laughs> I was, yes, thank you, thank you, Denise. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say anything right. I was like just writing and I, I just stopped talking. Sorry. <laughs> bye okay. bye. Okay. I was telling you that in my cases, the, the last person who signs, well, the first and last person who signs or that signs that my, my permission form is my boss. I do not sign the permission form, I just fill it out. With my information and uh, the date, the days, uh, the problem or whatever I, I I had, I put it over there, and that's that's what I do in my case. Okay, we have a conversation down here. Let's take a look at it. It's a very short conversation between Mr. Ray and Ashley. It says, "Dear, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company." Thank you, Mr. Hank. What? Hank? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. 
Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Observen esto que está acá. Y si está correcto. ¿no? Ahí sí está bien. Ayer vimos esto. Aquí. Creo que fue ayer. Está avanzada. No, sí, 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 incorrecto, sí, incorrecto. Sería al revés. Explain to you what is it's wrong. It's wrong. Vamos a ver. No, sí, está bien. This one is not right. This one is not right, right down here. Explain the situation. That's not right. And something else over here que está, está incorrecto. Oh. It will be a request. Teacher. I will say request permission, not request a permission. Teacher. Yes. yes. Um, necesito desconectarme. Me voy a conectar del teléfono porque debo manejar ahorita. Okay. Este, voy a seguir conectando del teléfono. Thank you. Solo thank you. Yes. No problem. Thank you. It's easy, all right? Yes. Now, we're going to practice the conversation. Let's do it. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Edwin. Edwin with Denise. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the producers and rulers of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, there you go. The, 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 the conversation is, is very simple. Thank you both. Let's continue. Let me see Paola and Ismael. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay. Thank you both for... It's correct. It's correct. Explain them. Yes, yes, yes. Explain them to uh, explain the explain them to to you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, let me choose two more people. Oops. Let me see. Sandra, Sara. Sara, Sandra. Sara, are you there? Yes. Sandra, are yes. you sleeping? Yes. Look, Sandra is like this right now. Ya la vimos pasando dormido. Wait. Okay, Marvin, help us, please, with Raquel. Okay. Okay, I, I saw you. Good afternoon, actually, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, zero. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Yeah, sounds good. I will explain them to the first. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys for that. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Second, I'm trying to find this information. It's important. It's very important. I want to show it to you. Uh, It's kind of important to know. Nice. Can you see it? Lo pueden ver? Lo que les muestro? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me show you. It says, as I mentioned earlier, this double object structure can't be used with all uh, verbs. It only works with certain verbs. So even even though we can say I send them an email, observen acá este este patrón que está acá. I send them an email, or I gave my sister the book. We can't say he sent me something. Or I'm explaining my students the answer. Tendría que ser al revés acá. Esto iría al final. Y answer iría al principio. I'm, I'm explaining the answer to my students. No aparece aquí. Aquí está abajo. I'm explaining the answer to my students. Not I'm explaining my students the answer. Why? No aparece acá. No, no aparece. No aparece. No, no, no. no. No, it doesn't show me anything right there. Only this. But I'm going to do it right now. Aquí lo voy a poner para que vean. Eso es importante. Con el verbo explain. Bueno, hay un, un buen puñado. Explain, porque se, se usa un montón explain. Entonces lo voy a explicar, explicar. Explain goes like this. Explain plus Un segundo my back, have a backache. I don't know why. Okay, there you go. That's the structure. Esa es la estructura. Explain plus direct object plus indirect object. Yes. ¿Qué significa objeto directo y objeto indirecto? That's a good question. El objeto indirecto es la persona. Y el objeto directo es lo que la persona recibe. Explain es el verbo. Después de explain colocamos el objeto directo que es lo que la persona recibe. En este caso es la respuesta. The answer. Y luego el objeto indirecto es la persona. Okay. La persona. En este caso, to my students. Explain. Pongamos más ejemplos acá. Explain the class. To me, explain the situation to me or to the students. Explain the problem to your boss. Ese es el orden correcto. No puedo decir explain me the class. 
Explain me the class no existe. Sí, bueno, sí existe, ¿verdad? Pero no, es, pero no es correcto. Explain me the class. No es el correcto orden o el orden correcto. No está bien así. Este ex, explain me the class, no. Sería explain the class to me, explain the situation to me, or explain the problem to you. Yes. Y vamos acá, o sea, vamos a regresar acá al libro. Y vamos a verlo. Observen. I will explain them to you. Them to you. Pensé que era incorrecta, pero no, porque aquí está, aquí está correcto. Yo me he confundido. Este them se refiere a nuestras no personas, ¿ok? Se refiere a esto que está arriba. Procedures. I will explain the procedures to you. Them, objeto directo. To you. Objeto indirecto. Vamos al de ayer para que veamos la diferencia. Ya está. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. Explain him the situation. Es al revés. Tiene que ser explain the situation to him. Yes. Al revés. Explain the situation to him. Eso aplica para el verbo explicar. Explicar. Luego el objeto directo, que es en este caso la situación. Y por último sería el objeto indirecto, en este caso la persona. Yes. That's very, very important to know. Es gramática un poco, un poco complicada. Así es el inglés. Questions about it? Questions about it? No? We good? No, teacher. All right. Hay un listado de, de verbos específicos de, de, de eso que están así, que es el que le mostré. Vamos a seguir con la conversación. Bueno, vamos a ver. No, we, we have very little time. Vamos a continuar más adelante si podemos. Uh, let's continue down here. Part number three, get in pairs and discuss the following questions. No. Who is Ashley? People, who is Ashley? Who is Ashley? De lo que leímos arriba, ¿quién es Ashley? Who is Ashley? The boss. A new employee. A new employee. I think it's a new employee. A new employee. Okay, yes. Yes, it's an employee. Mr. Ray, I think Mr. Ray is the boss, or I think Mr. Ray is, is her superior. Yes. Look, who is the person in charge of it? Well, yeah, that's what is easy. Who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Hello? Hank. <laughs> Who? Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray or Mr. Ray. Mr. <laughs> Hank. Mr. Hank. Mr. Hank. Mr. Hank. Mr. Hank. Mr. Ray. No, um, it's Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray, right. All right, all right. Now, look at this. Read the procedure to request permission at the, at the DAC company. It says there, procedure to request permission. Number one, first, print the request form that is available on the internet. Está incorrecto ese mismo. Está ahí, dice intranet. Es internet, internet. Aunque así se dice como está ahí. Internet, intranet. Pero es internet. Se escribe internet. Internet. Number two, fill out the form. Number three, write the reason for the permission. Number four, write the time and day you will be absent. Five, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Six, ask, the ask for the department manager's signature. Six, present the form at the human resources office. Eight, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. And the last one, number nine, if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. 
Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Not teacher. Sorry? Not teacher. No? Okay, we're going to read the, the procedures again. I need help from, uh, let me see. I don't see Carlos. Yes, he left. I don't know what happened to him. Jorge, read the procedures, please. Jorge, read the procedures. Jorge is not there right now. Let me choose another person. Mayra, go. Okay, teacher. Proceed to request permission. Uh, first, print the request for them is available on the internet. Two, fill up the form. Three, write the reason for the permission. For write the time and the day you will be absent. And five, a specify is due to medical or personal reason. Seek ask for the department manager signature. And seven, present the form at the human resource, resource office. Eight, the human resource assistant will receive the form and sign it if if it's it accept and nine if the human resource assistant does that and accept the for the permission is denied. 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 Okay. Denied. denied. Okay, thank you for reading. Mayra, let's continue with another person. Veronica, can you help us? Read again the procedures. Okay. The procedure to request the permission. First, print the request form that is available on the internet. Two, fill out the form. Three, write the reason for the permission. Um, four, write the tie and then you will be asked. Five, specific, specify, sorry, it. If it is due to medical or personal reasons. Six, ask for the department manager's signature. Seven, present the four and the human resources office. Eight, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. And I, if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is an, denied. 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 Okay, denied. Denied. Okay, thank you for reading, Veronica. I need a man. Edwin, can you help us? Sure. I uh, produce the request for permission. First, Print a request from that is available on the internet. And two, fill out the form. Uh, three, write the reason for the permission. Uh, four, write uh, the time and day and day you will be absent. Uh, five, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Six. Ask for the department manager signatures. Uh, seven, present the form at the human resource office. Eight, uh, the human resource assistant will receive the form and sign in it if it is accepted. Uh, nine, if the human resource assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Okay, the permission is denied. Thank you for reading, and uh, let me see one more mail. Marvin, can you help us? Yeah, yes. Go. Yeah, 
pro procedure to request permission. First, print the request form that is available on the internet. Uh, two, fill out the form. Three, write the reason for the permission. Four, write the time and day you will be absent. Five, specify if it's a due to medical or personal reasons. Six, ask for the department manager's signature. Seven, present the form at the human resources officer. And eight, the human resource the human resources assist, assistant will receive the form and sign, sign it if it's accepted. And now, if the human resources assistant do, does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Marvin, for reading. People, excellent. Number number four, make a list of situations in which in which you could request permission. People, we're going to come up with four, with four good reasons or acceptable. That's the best way. Acceptable reasons to ask for permission. I'm going to re rewrite the activity in the chat. Right for accept oh, we had the four squares over here. Write four acceptable reasons to ask or to request permission. Iniciamos. I'm going to give you four minutes. Uno por cada por cada por cada ejemplo. Go people, go. One per each, one per each. Guys, are you ready? When you have a medical date. Sorry? 
When you have a medical day. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin sharing. Iniciamos a compartir. People, ra let's share randomly. Compartamos al azar todos. Share. Hello? I, requ I request, request yes. permission for the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> for vacation, no, okay. Permission. Okay, for vacation. Yes, it is our right. Es nuestro derecho. Exactly. Yes, yes. What else? What else? ¿Qué más? Permission for uh, go to the doctor. Okay, permission to go to the doctor. When the when the street los chorros is closed. Okay, when the street when los chorros the street is closed. Okay, yes. también. Yes, it works. Being when I need way. to repeat. Sorry. Stop when? When I need to repair my car. I need to repair my car? Maybe, maybe, maybe. When, when I, I need a permission to do home office. Okay, you request permission to, to do some home office. Yes. Okay, what else? When how do you say when you need to get off um tooth or teeth? When you what? Quitar, sacar una muela, un diente. Ah, remove. Remove. Remove a tooth. When you need to remove that teeth. Tooth. Oh. Oh, when, oh. yes. when a relative got died. When a relative passes away, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, permission for a school meeting. Permission for? A school meeting. For, for school meeting, okay. For school meeting, yes. I just call it a chat pass away. So I can make a pass away. Fallecer. Pass away. Fallecer. Pass away. And but they see that uh, when somebody dies, it's kind of poco, poco rudo to see dies. Well, you're a good rudo. Pass die. away. Pass, pass when away. someone passes away. Exactly, exactly. What else? What else? ¿Qué más? A permission for go to the school de my dad. My dad. Okay, permission when you go to the school, your daughter's school, your son's school, or when you go to the school for a meeting or for a summer. meeting at school. Uh -huh. School meeting. Okay. School meeting. Yes, school meeting. What else? ¿Qué más? When you are... When you have to travel out of the country. Okay. When you have to travel uh, out of the country. Okay. When you have to travel out of the country. What else? 
permission when the woman ha has a baby? Okay, permission when the woman has a baby? When, uh, when, when, when the woman has a, has a part, no sé cómo se dice. Cuando tiene el parto. A eso voy, a eso voy, a ponerle aquí en el chat, voy. When a woman, <laughs> mire, me lee, me lee la mente, the woman goes into labor. Ahí está, goes into labor. Es el labor. labor. Es... Which is when your cat is is, is sick. Sorry. When your cat is sick. Your cat. El gato. Maybe teacher. No. Es un miembro de la familia. Not the cat. Or your dog. I don't know. I say acceptable reasons. Aceptables. <laughs> no creo que acepte, acepte eso, gente. No, teacher, but I know a case. Maybe no, the son, the son, teacher. Which one is that? The daughter or 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 son. Uh huh. Uh, is sick. Okay, when when a daughter or a son is sick, yes, it's okay. What else? For accidental labor. For what? For accidental labor. For an accident. Accident laboral. Work accident. Yes. For a work accident, okay. Works. What else? When I get married. When mm -hmm. I get married. When someone gets married, okay. <laughs> when someone gets married. Are you guys married? Yes, 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 yes. What else? Permission to take my emergency, emergency daughter to the hospital. Yes, yes. When you have an emergency with your family, daughter, with your son, with your mother, with your father, grandparents. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. When you need a renew renew um document person. When you ID, what sorry? You need a renew renewal? Oh renew, renew, yes. A document. Okay, when you need to renew a document. What else? When my son was born. A when son a, was born. When a baby is born. When the baby is born. Yes, yes. What else? When you need to go to the bank. When you need to go to the bank. What else? We have. Uh, yes, what else? When you take an interview in another New Year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss, I'm not going to come tomorrow. And the boss goes like this. Why? Why, Sandra? Oh, because I have an interview. Okay. Fired. Despedida, no solo. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> All right, all right. Yes. Okay, people, let's continue. Excellent. Thank you for participating. Now, look at this. We have part number five. Your turn. A colleague needs permission to be absent, absent from work. Explain the procedures to him in your company and help him or her fill in the form. Fill out the form, not fill in the form. Fill out the form. 
Yes. And uh, look, I have permission. Permission form. Yes. Tenemos name, date, reasons, manager's signature, and HR assistant's signature. My Lord. Ok, vamos a hacer esto que está acá, lo vamos a llenar con nuestra información. But give me a second. Maybe I can find a better one here. Permission form. Está muy simple eso que está ahí. Very simple. Right. This one is too complicated. Okay. Vamos a hacer una, una, un cuadro como ese que está ahí. But we're going to include more information. And the information that we're going to include, include is the following. The information that we're going to include is the following. Okay, so keep okay, so I'm Tenemos name, date, reasons, manager's signature, HR's assistance signature. Look, days for, for uh, permission or That one, yes, that information, and uh, and your employee's code. That's that's in uh, you, have, you have to make it up. Long time, okay. Iniciamos ya todos en individual. Incluyamos abajo lo que les, les puse en el chat. Yes. People, let's go.
Let me know when you're done. Yes. Uh, uh, disculpa porque no me pude conectar temprano. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry, Diana. Se me había bloqueado la cuenta de Zoom. Yes, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. The good thing is that you are here. So bueno, que ya está acá. Are you ready? Yes, you should. Okay, let's begin sharing. Veronica, go ahead, you share. I don't know this is okay. <laughs> okay, I try. Name, Carlos. Date, Thursday, um, 50 September. Date yes. for permission, two days. Start date, Monday, 12 um, September. End date, Tuesday, 12, 12 September. Employee code, 1259. And reason, um, and go to marry. What's the reason? I am going to marry. Okay, you went to, going to a meeting? No. <laughs> marry. To what, sorry? Casarme. No, I don't really understand. Me voy a casar. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Antes que lo haga, no lo haga. Yes. I did it. <laughs> What? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me too. <Nah. laughs> Me too. Yes. Pero corrí. Yes. Let's continue. Uh, let me see. Denise, are you ready? What did you say, teacher? <laughs> yes. I ran. Denise is sleeping. Marvin, are you ready? Uh, no, teacher. I, I don't understand the activity and I do something different. I feel like the like the steps to to file the form. I don't complete any any form. 
I don't I don't understand. I apologize. It's okay. Share what you have. Don't worry about it. Uh, I it, it's the steps. So uh, it's okay. Now, it's okay. Uh, first, you need to complete the permission form. You need come. You need complete what days of permission you need. Uh, uh, complete the start date in end date. Complete your name in very important your code employee and send the form to human resources and don't forget your signature and wait for the approve or the deny solicitation okay well that's the procedure good thank you for explaining that to us yes it's okay it's okay excellent marvin let's see paola are you ready No, she's not. Edwin? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, first, uh, fill in the form with the request data is employee code, uh, name, name, date, and uh, date for permission, start date, and end date. Explain it, the reason of permission is, for example, for personal issue, visit a sick family member in hospital, a school meeting, etc. And finally, send the form to be accepted and assigned. Okay, okay. Thank you for uh reading and and sharing your your steps. Let's see. Let me continue with someone else. Diana, are you ready? Sorry. You haven't finished. No, okay. Ismael, are you ready? It's raining, this is a lot right now. Sandra, go. Okay. In my case, I need to um, fill the form for the permission. You need to put in the complete the name and the script. The, what do you need the uh, permission? Put, put the date and sign, put your, your sign and your, and your boss. Okay, there you go. Thank you for sharing, Sandra. Christian, go, Christian. Yes, yeah, teacher. Uh, my name is Christian Rivera. Uh, the, what is? The date is five night. Five, sorry, teacher. <laughs> five September, 2023. Uh, the reason is I need to go to the bank because I need to buy a new car. Two months ago, when I drive my car, another car crashed me, and I fear and I and and for this reason I need to buy a new car. Uh, manager, a senior, my boss, uh, age assistant, a senior, age boss, and for permission is for tomorrow. And finish tomorrow. Just one day, just one day. Yes, teacher. Thank you for sharing. Let me continue with another person. Uh, Jorge, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Permission for name, Jorge Hernandez, date, um, wellness, wellness, 6 September, reasons, I need to, <clears throat> I need to go, I need to, um, how do you say, necesito llevar. I need to take. 
I need to take my take. car to maintenance. Take. I need to take just my car to maintenance and the date only two hours of days six September. All right, all right. Thank you, Jorge, for for sharing. Let me see. Mayra, are you ready? Yes, teacher, I ready. Um, permissions for permission for name Mayra Lassa date um six September twenty thirty reason I require permission because my son has an appointment with the pediatrician and I have to go with him. Days for permission one day A start day. 6 September 2023 and end date 6 September 2023 employee call uh, number 10 hello teacher yes number Can 10 you... yes 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 number 10 employee call Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Mayra, Sara, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Go. Oh. Name uh, Sara Cosme. Date uh, night. Uh, day, day nine, month nine. Uh, years 23. Reason permission when pass away my aunt. My aunt uh, pass, away, pass away. Pass away my uh, aunt. Aunt. Uh, my aunt pass away. My aunt pass away. Okay. Manager sign signature twenty five twenty five. The only that teacher. Okay, only that. It's okay. Thank you for for sharing. Let me see. Let me try with a guy who hasn't shared. Edwin, do you share? I guess, right? Let me bring it back. Okay. People, let me tell you something right now. Uh, there are some people that have not worked on the platform at all. And there are some people that have finished the platform, which is good. I have this person, oh, Sandra, I'm sorry. Sandra, you, you have to work on the platform. Please go ahead and do it today and tomorrow. Uh, who else, let me see. Carlos Eliezer has to uh, increase the, 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 the grade. Carlos Alberto, también, Carlos Alberto también, lo que tiene que tiene que aumentarlo. Carlos Alberto. And uh, let me see who else, quien más. Sandra, you, okay. Let me see who else. And uh, Jancy Andrea, you have to work on the platform and you gotta finish, finish it by tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow you have to finish unit number four. And, and you also have to do the final exam on the platform. You have two activities for, uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be activity number five, I mean task or uh, homework number five from unit number four. And you're gonna have the final exam, okay? Yes. Así que para mañana, completenlo todo para que estemos al día y pueda yo uh, hacerlo todo mismo día mañana después de clase, hacerlo todo y actualizarlo rápidamente. Yes. Do you have any questions, people? No, teacher. Do you want to sleep? 
Yes, teacher. <laughs> no, le creo, mire. Are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep after class? Mentira, van a ver tele, yes. a ver videos. Yes. A chatar en WhatsApp, van a ir a llamar a alguien. No, dice como crees. <ríe> Mire, si es cierto. No mienta, no mienta. <ríe> Sí, es normal, es, es, es uh, psicológico. For experience. For experience. For experience, dice bien. <risa> más o menos, más o menos, mi, más o menos. No, me tengo que dar por dos razones muy importantes. Me puedo justificar, fíjese. Me puedo justificar. No es porque yo quiera quedarme. <risa> Justifico. Seis, sí. seis. Sorry. Seis, teacher. What? Diga. Justify. Oh, easy, easy. When I finish the class, I have to wait for this class to convert. And the conversion takes one hour. The conversion. And then I have to upload the video to YouTube, which takes from 20 to 30 minutes. So I go to bed around 11.30 or 12 a.m. Wow, teacher, sorry. Really yes. sorry. Con su pico. No me quiero quedar. Es que si me duermo ya no, no, subo, no subo el video después y me hace mal vida. Sí, tiene razón. Yes. Okay. Ana Victoria Galán. Present, teacher. Thank you, Andy Ernesto Martinez. Ryan David Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you, Carlos Alberto estuvo como media hora, creo. Yo me tengo que hacer nuevo. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, Andy, I can hear you. Uh, I am present. Apareció. <laughs> yes, I have a problem with the microphone. Micro Microphone. Well, microphone. Microphone, yes. And sorry, teacher. Yes. It's For okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Carlos Eliezer Dimas, he left. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present, teacher. Thank you, Denise. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Present, teacher. Yes. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present. Thank you, Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present, teacher. Yes. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Marvin Jose Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Paola Geraldine Santa María. Thank you, Sa 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 Raquel, 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 Sara Raquel, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Raquel. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Sara Raquel Salazar. Present. Eh, Verónica Lizeth Portillo. Present. And Jancy Andrea Salvador Santos. People, remember, tomorrow is the last day. Be ready. Uh, try to get, to get online or to connect to the class with a laptop. Yes, or at least to do the survey, you need a laptop, okay? It's better, it's better, a laptop. If you cannot get a laptop, it's okay, don't worry. All right, so tomorrow, try to be early. No, well, not try. Be early tomorrow. Be early because we're going to have the survey probably at... 8.20 or 8.30. So I need you guys to be early in, in that in that case for that for that for that case. All right. Or for that uh situation. We gotta be early tomorrow. Yes. Do you have any last questions? No? I didn't receive the survey. You didn't get the get the link through WhatsApp? Nope. nope. Okay. But I think I think it's the same link. 
but people uh can you share can you share this information through the whatsapp group if you got it because uh the the, the link or, or uh the information you get it contains everything about the course the information if you guys got it can you share can you like uh forward it can you forward it i have this information teacher um Generemos el formulario con usted mañana, correcto. Yes. Sería acá, ya lo compartí, aquí está compartido, ya mire. Ahí está, uh, para que lo, lo, lo vea, este, Paola. Ok. Yes. Okay, okay. Eso que está allí es para el día de mañana. Será acá juntos, así que no lo hagan todavía. Ok, no lo hagan. Será acá todos juntos a las 8 y 20 o 8 y media. Vamos a iniciar con esa encuesta. Así que, como les decía, estemos acá puntuales. Y de preferencia una laptop para que no les cause ningún problema con copiar y pegar la información. Y básicamente eso. Ok, people. Thank you for coming hey. today or for joining. Thank you for coming. You know, la costumbre. Thank you for joining today's session. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Ok, be ready. Último día mañana. Traigan, traigan la celebración. Comida, jugos, dulces. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good, good night, people. Bye. Take care. Bye bye, bye. bye. everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, bye teacher. Bye. Good night, good night. Take care. Thank you, thank you. Teacher. Yes. Uh, tell us what will be your next model. Sorry. What will be your next model? My next module. Yes. I have no idea. Ah, uh, but... I don't know. <laughs> okay. No me han avisado, no sé, la verdad. Okay, teacher, no problem. It's okay. I hope... <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night, take care. Good See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.